welcome to student technologies uh, today in this session we are going to discuss on like html css and bootstrap and uh, uh, like today's session we are going to give the introduction about uh, the html css bootstrap and the web development okay let's start before going into in depth into html css and bootstrap you people should know that what is a web uh, page and what is a ui designer and ui, UI developer okay you can see that i have opened this site our student technology and you can able to see lots of image and uh, different text and all these things now we have a question how i can go and develop this kind of website okay now the second thing suppose you want to develop the application or you want to develop a website which is go and run a inside a your mobile or you can you are developing one ui that is going to run in your tv screen or your desktop screen or your mobile screen for developing this kind of a screen or this kind of page you need a certain technology today in this video or today in this uh, in this session we are focusing on web development web development means the application which is run in top of a browser we call as a web application or web page you can see that i have opened the chrome browser in chrome browser i have opened this site okay this site you can call as a web page or web application to develop this kind of page or this kind of web ui you need certain technology or you need certain programming language these languages are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But in this video, uh, like we are only discuss about this HTML and CSS. JavaScript will take care later. Okay. HTML is used to develop the web page. An HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext Markup Language. So what is mean by Hypertext Markup Language? Okay, Hypertext means text inside text. And Markup means it, it is a certain tag which is used to develop the HTML page. Before going into this hypertext and in depth into markup language, all these things, you have to understand how a browser works. That is the basic concept of a running your web application. When you open, like any browser you open, you can open Chrome, Firefox, like you can open Edge, any application, any browser you open, browser only knows three things. The things are HTML, CSS, and javascript any browser in this modern tech now if you are want to develop any application in browser the browser should know this always know html css and javascript means using html css and javascript you can develop any kind of html page or you can develop any kind of ui or web ui now we are go an in depth discuss about html css and javascript as i told html stands for hypertext markup language means using html you can develop this kind of website but html give you only the content and the images but if you want to add any kind of coloring, if you want any kind of uh, styling to your website, then you need the help of CSS, you can achieve that. We will go the CSS later. Let's go HTML and discuss how HTML works. If I go and right click and view source this page, you can see there are a lot of tag is written here like html head title meta you can see lot of tag is written here means if you go and write all these tag when you 
when you run this page then you automatically get this site as a view in another way if you go and write all this tag if you know all this tag then you can when you write this tag and save the file then you can able to see this kind of page okay let me go and discuss about anatomy of a html <clears throat> let me open paint and discuss about all these things like as you know like suppose any html page if i open any html page suppose just imagine this is a html page okay same as this one okay this html page open inside a browser okay let me mark this red area as a browser okay means this one this part is your html page all the html page consists two thing one is head another one is body like a human structure each human contain a head and body the same way the html contain a head part as well as a body part you can see that clear here in this view source you can see that this is the head part and if i scroll down you can see the body part means if you create any html page or anything then you have to mention which is your body part which is your head part okay then the question is why this head and body is required the same as if you are declaring the head and body the head con contains the basic information about your page and body content the actual content of your page let me go and create one sample html file i'll show you how it's work okay <clears throat> I have opened any editor. It may be uh, your uh, text. It may be your Notepad. It may be any any kind of text editor. You can open it. You have to write the syntax HTML. Okay. Now you have to ask me what is this less than and greater than symbol. As I told earlier, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Markup language means it will be start this way. See the certain tag, whatever you are writing in HTML, we call it a markup. This is a certain syntax you have to write. Okay. The same way, if you want to create any HTML page, you have to write HTML and you have to end HTML. That I will go and discuss each and everything details just we are going to create a sample html file and see how it's work now as i told html content head and html content body let me explain one by one okay to create any of the html page you must have to write the HTML tag start and HTML tag end. Means in HTML, if you are, if you are writing any tag, we are calling this as one tag. Okay, markup we are calling a tag. This is called a tag. If you are writing any tag, that tag should be end. Okay, in HTML start, then HTML end. Head start, head end. Body start, body end means in html if you are writing anything any tag you are writing this is called tag if you are writing any tag that tag should be end okay if i save it the html the html file extension is dot html or dot htm like if anything you are storing a file the file contains any extension like mp3 file content dot mp3 
or your video content mp4 the same as any html file contains its own extension we call it either html or html you have to choose anything let me create index.html <coughs> means if i create any of the html page the page should be contain the extension of html okay once i create the page you can if i go to the location you can see that the page is created here and by default is if i click it here it's opening inside the browser right means if you create any html page that will automatically open into inside a browser now the head part and body part we will discuss the head means you can see that if i open our synotech site you can see that you can able to see some title here right the same thing suppose in your page you are to display any kind of title in here then that is a certain tag is available that tag you must have to add in stm in your head tag is called title tag let me like suppose hello html let me save it and refresh it you can see that after i adding this title tag the automatically my header is changed to hello html means the head part contain the basic information about your page later we will discuss what are the different different tags is contain in head but in today's session we will little bit discuss about a basic overview of html tag and a basic of css i think you can see this file you have to know that how to create a simple html file right next now i have explained the head part okay this is not the only tag inside the head we will discuss n number of tags in head in later session but in today's session we will only focus on title like you can see that here you can able to add a icon here the same way how to write a code it is going to add the icon in this place we'll go all these things in details later let's go to body section as you know the head contain the information about the html the body contain the content of your page like let me write it here welcome to srinutech let me save it after save if i go refresh it you can see that i can able to see this one that whatever text i enter here i can able to see it here okay now suppose you want to make this text little bit bold for that in html there is certain tag available which is used to transform the text into one format to another format actually the html contain list of tag tag means this kind of tag which has specific meaning suppose you want to make this text bold then you simple write strong if i write the strong and text in between that if i save it and refresh then you can see that the text become bold let me go and discuss this one in depth okay when you write when you write strong your text and strong what is the meaning of this one let me explain in depth okay
this one this one you can sorry just a second let me another color this one is the start of the tag this one is the end of the tag and this part is the content means whenever you go and write any tag or anything any element or tag in a html page that should be content one start and one end whatever data you want to add you can go add inside this start and end this is the basic principle of a html okay any tag will start that tag should be end by a slash symbol okay the same way strong strong tag is used to make a text little bit bold okay the same way if you want to make this text as italic you can go and write syntax i can see the text little bit italic means both text the same text first i have applied strong close it then i applied italic i write the text then end it my intention is here you have to first understand what is this tag and the use of tag as i explain here any tag will start from less than and greater than whatever tag name and the content will be placed here then the same tag will end this way this is the basic of a html you can write anything if you want a text italic bold or anything underline you have to do the, the same concept means you have to write a tag start your tag name then your content then you have to end your tag i think you are clear about this tag this tag we are calling as a markup okay see the tag which is designed by the html using this tag you develop a any kind of a html page as you seen here i have created html here i have ended it here i have start head here i have ended it here body here body end is any tag you will start the same tag you will end means whenever the the main thing of html like you have to remember the tags there is no rules of anything like you have to remember the tag the way suppose you want to mark this as underline that is simple i'll go and write you and you sorry <clears throat> And see it it's making a underline means using a html using html you can transform any text to different different format but the things will be now you'll ask me i want to make this thing as a red color if you want to make this text as a red color you cannot do directly if you want to make it red color then you need the help of css we already discussed css right css means cascading style sheet using css you can make the different different color of this text that will go a little bit later i just want to know are you able to understand the basic concept of html how html works and what is the html tag anyone any doubt just ask me okay i think you are able to understand how html works means whenever write any html tag and you have to save as html or htm and if you run this one inside a browser they can you can you can able to see the content let's go add different different tag you can, if i go and open this site you can see that this about us you can see that right 
this is about us tag and some content tag is there let me go and add same kind of designing in html in html there is some predefined tag called heading i think you all know the heading heading means title heading one if there is a six heading is available in html like h1 h2 H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. If I go and add text in between this, suppose this is a heading. I told you like HTML content, the basic syntax, like basic tag. You have to remember all these tags. Okay. Let me go and save it and open. You can see that how it's displaying. If I compare one by one, like H1 tag, this is heading. So this is heading H1. It's H2. It's H3. It's H4. It's H5 and s6 sorry yeah you can see that h1 tag is displaying little bit uh, larger s2 tag little bit uh, less than the h1 tag s3 h4 h5 s6 if in your project in your web application you want to add any heading the html giving certain tag to add the heading from h1 to s6 the concept the same h1 tag start h1 tag end and the content you have to write inside this okay same way h2 start h2 end up to s6 this is the predefined structure of a html okay okay today session we will only go overview of html from tomorrow we will go and create actually a website but before that you have to know what are the basic html tag like tag means this one tag or element you can say anything is present inside a uh, html okay now the things will be you want to add a text okay this is a text let me copy this text and add this text down to this you can simply paste the text if you save it it will go to and display there okay there is no issue but suppose you want to change the font size you want to change the color or anything how you can do that okay for that we have a predefined tag called paragraph like you already know suppose you want to add a paragraph in html as a tag called p p tag p tag it stands for paragraph okay let me paste it inside that if i paste it if i refresh you can see that there is no changes you can see but we'll see how it's different from other other normal text in letter means suppose if you want to add any kind of paragraph in your in your web or like in your web ui then you have to use the paragraph tag okay let's go and discuss about basic concept of a html tag <clears throat> as you know all the time you cannot develop a site which is go in vertical way okay you can see that in this side there is a like this is all a horizontal way this is a section another section another section another section suppose you want to develop this kind of design in your html how you can do that to achieve these two things in html there is a predefined syntax called span and div okay 
One is span, another one is div. You have to understand what is span and what is div. Okay. Span means whenever, okay, first go to span. Before going to span, let's discuss about div. Div means division. Suppose you adding any text here. Suppose, no, just example. This is your text area where we entering the text. And same way, you want to add another area down to that. Division means when you add anything inside the division, it is going to break that content. Means, just example, if I go and add div, div1, same way, I go add div2, I save it, I refresh, you can see that it's divided into two parts. Okay, if I inspect and if I go and mouse over here, you can see that this is one of the block, this is the another one, one of the block. Alright, div means it's a division. Let's go and design the same way using the span. I'll explain span and div after giving an example. Let me do go and add the same one in span. I think you can able to see now if I use div means this will occupy the entire area if a mouse you can see that the div, div area the um, some uh, blue color is there you can see that this is blocking the entire area div also blocking entire area if I go to span you can see that it's only contain the area whenever contain the content means if I explain this in diagram you have to understand the span and div this is the basic concept of a uh, HTML div means it is a blocking one whatever you define it is a block okay if it is a span then it is a single line block means in div it is a vertical in span it's a horizontal you can see that right here if i design a div means it's a vertical one it's a one one line another line if i go span it's a horizontal one one then after one actually you cannot see all the things but this side whatever you can see, you can develop with this side right this all are designing using the span and this div Two more classes we will go in depth and uh, discuss all these things but you have to know the basic of a div and a span you have to know that div is work in vertically and span is working horizontally means any text you want to add inside a div it any text you are going to add inside a div it will work as a vertical structure if you want to add any text inside a span to work as a horizontal structure okay you can see it here any doubt on div and span okay this is a basic concept of div and span tomorrow we will discuss in depth into div and span like how you can go and coloring all these things you have to know that but today we are just going for a basic concept of html okay any doubt on div and span just imagine DB is a vertical block and this span is a horizontal block. Okay. Let's go. I think uh, in later we will learn a lot of tag here. Like suppose just example, I will give another example of suppose form. Suppose all the time you are not going to show only the textual. Sometimes you want to go and show like a text box drop down like this. 
suppose you want to develop application you want to develop this kind of ui this kind of text box all these things right how you can go and design all these things to design all these things in html we have a concept called form okay we have a form suppose you want to add a text box then you have to use input type equal to text don't be worry about all these things that each and everything i will explain this is just i want to show you how it's work if i write this input type equal to text and save it if i refresh you can see you can able to see a text box here okay the same way suppose you want to show a checkbox if you go and input type checkbox you can able to see a checkbox if you want to see a radio button you can go and add a, add a radio button here it's, you can see it's radio button showing the same way suppose you want to add a button you can add a button here So the same way suppose you want to add a drop down a list box a file upload you can add all these things let let me add one drop down i just want to show you how you can using this html you can do all these things can see it it's a drop down thread box suppose you want to add a file upload the same way you can go and add one file upload you can you can add any kind any type of form like any kind of form control in your page using the html now there is a question is html is required for like web development i say yes without html you cannot develop any kind of web page maybe you learn java maybe you learn anything that does not matter but the user actually going to access the application right application means the application is going to run on a top of a browser and browser only understand html javascript and css to design your page your, or you design your form or anything you have to know the basic of a html okay now i think you learn how to create a html page how to add a head how to add a body and inside that a basic syntax of a uh, html how to add a deep span different different kind of control in your page this is the basic of a html we will go each and every tag and i will discuss what is this input what is type all these things i will explain bit by bit in next session but today let's go and work with css css is stands for cascading style sheet okay let me go and make this one red if i open this one you can see that i have added strong italic underline all this thing i have added right let me go and make this syntax as a red color if you want to add a css then you have to use some certain predefined tag that called style style is a predefined tag for all the html html tag you have to add style then style equal to in in a double quote you have to write suppose text sorry color will be red you can see that welcome to synotech the color is red okay i will explain all this thing in depth just wait if you want to change this color i will simple write green save it see that is green 
let me increase the size of this text okay for that i will add another one font size let me do uh, 20 pixel okay, i'll explain what is pixel all these things i'll go per unit but for today you just understand what i'm writing here font size i think from name you know that font size means this text font size will be 20 pixel let me save it and refresh you can see that it's got increase the same way if you want any kind of styling any kind of any kind of like font color anything you want to change for a uh, text for a element anything then you can make it you can use in the use of style sheet you can achieve all these things okay let me go and explain this style one let me copy this one and explain As I written here, strong is a tag name. You can see it, the tag name is here. Tag name is strong. Then I have added style. The style we can call as it attribute. You have to remember this name and call it attribute. Don't worry about this. I will explain each and everything. The tag we are calling as attribute okay this area we are calling it attribute value hey okay, i know this is for for you this is little bit like um, uh, you first time you have to know that what, is, what i am writing here but later you will understand all these things first we know this is the tag it's the tag style we call it attribute and this color all this thing we called it a attribute value each attribute value contain the same thing contain the name and value you can see that the the color is the name of this attribute and the green is the value font size is attribute name and the 20px is the value of the, that one okay the styling contain thousands of syntax. It's not only two. It's contain thousands of syntax of all the styling. For you, you don't need to remember all these things. You have to only remember the basic of a styling. Okay, that will go in depth into styling, how it's work and all these things. But you have to know that how you can add a style to a HTML tag or HTML element. Okay, this is a basic one okay the same way you want to add the border inside this div how you can add a border to add that any tag you want to add a style this the tag name as i explained here the tag name space the style tag its attribute and the attribute value the same way if i go deep and write style border 1px border is not going to work this way okay there is a different different syntax like border you can see that style i have added border solid and one px let me explain this one border is a uh, like style tag which is used to add a border to a specific element you can see that this is a border is added let me it's a the thickness of a border the solid means this is displaying solid one right the next one is one px one px means you have to define the actually the size of the border you can see that the size is little bit one px only 
if you want to increase the size of the border you can separate 10 px just example you can see the border is little bit darker same way based on your usage you can add your border now you want to make this border color different suppose you want to make the border as red you can space right red see that border is red suppose you want to fill this color inside this by default displaying white you want to fill the color of this under different color suppose i want to fill the uh, this inside the color i want to make it green the same way you want to add dash ground color as green you can see the background color is displaying green and i want to change the text color to suppose white then color you see that this is the beauty of style sheet in html okay don't worry about all these things i will explain what is border what is what are the different different uh, like type of styling in border uh, the what is the different type of pixel or any other unit what how you can use different different color the background all these things will explain next session in depth but in today's i just want to show you how html work with css okay i think you people already got it about all these things how html design how style sheet working all these things then bootstrap all these things we can discuss tomorrow because you have to first know that how html and css works you, you can see that in this side all the data are line by line like this is the one line this is the one line this is the one line you can call this a vertical design right and some cases you can see that span one span two and all these are the horizontal designing means in html we can go for two way of designing one is suppose this is a web suppose this is a web page inside that you can go for vertical this is one block this is one block this is one block this is one block if you go block wise designing means this one one block wise designing then you will go for a deep concept deep means is a division go for a deep concept the same way if you want to design a page where the content you want to put vertically sorry horizontally they can you can go for concept of span You can see it here in this example this, these two div are vertically designed like this is one area this is another area but when i create a span it's a single line horizontal designing same as here i did design if i added anything inside a div anything inside a div it should be create a area it's create a box kind of designing means you can see that if i go and uh, inspect it I, I will explain all this inspect one if i inspect it you can see that a square box is coming right but whereas if i go to span you can see that it's all are in same line but in division it's a line by line okay this is the main difference between div and span if you add anything inside a div it will always like it will always display a block area means it's a square box if I add a span, it will always display in same line. Okay. Deep is a box line and span is a same line as I discussed here. Deep and span. Okay. I, I'll show you that one how actually it will work. You can see it here. Suppose you want to design this one. One, two, three, four. This one you can design in span. This is one span, two span, three span, four span. Okay but after this span if you want to design this about us and all these things then you will go for a div in a simple way div is a section div is a tag which is used to create a block block means a section and span is used to create a horizontal block as well as div create a vertical block 
that, that, that in later we will go and discuss how we can create all these things but in today's just we want to know that basic concept of html how html works okay then we'll go deep and uh, span that is n number of tag is available we'll go and start one by one our main tension is we can pick up any of the site it may be you have to choose any site okay we'll go and create the same clone whatever clone you can choose this one you can choose flipkart amazon anything you can choose any of the site and we'll go and design the same site using html and in that only we will learn end to end means i am not going to like start from here go on there we will create suppose just example i am opening flipkart okay in flipkart we will go and create this clone totally clone using html css and bootstrap okay and inside that we will learn bit by bit of how you can design this text box how you can create this mouse over how it's opening how you can like mouse over if the color is getting changed okay this thing and uh, suppose uh, all this uh, view all uh, this slider all these things will design you can pick up any of the site will go and create the clone when you design the clone that time only i will explain how we can use all the tags in which places okay like this is a one of the section this is how you can align this section one by one if a mouse over how it's going to open how the text box looks like how the login if you click on login how the pop-up is coming we can design the pop-up then all this kind of text box designing all these things we will do okay it's up to you how we are going to choose a site just give me a site we can create a simple clone on that site using html css javascript when you are doing the clone that time you will learn all the syntax of html css javascript but before that you must have to know how html work and what are the basic of a html tags in tomorrow class i will i will explain there is a hundred of tags is there in html but i will go and explain as much as can i will do next tomorrow session okay tomorrow i will open a file inside file i will explain this is the tag the use of that tag this is the tag this is the use of this tag and tomorrow i will explain about all these things what is attribute what all these things okay you can choose any site please let me know by tomorrow any site you can create a clone in a clone you can know that because we will take a real time example this is a flip card okay we can use these images we can use all these things how we can add an image how we can do the slider all these things we will design one by one okay you will learn here html css javascript uh, html css bootstrap and javascript because the bootstrap one that will explain tomorrow the bootstrap one why you are going to use the bootstrap all these things because this bootstrap is uh, like most of the part is written top of the javascript and some css that are going to use tomorrow i will explain all these things tomorrow but because this slider this slider kind of stuff you cannot design html because HTML is only for static designing, not for dynamic. We cannot do all this stuff. Doing this slider, doing the, suppose in validation, all this, suppose if you click on login, it's showing like, right? please enter valid username, password. All this kind of stuff, we can do the help of JavaScript, we can do that. In this session, we'll discuss like how to create a website and we'll learn basic of a JavaScript. Okay, that is add-on for you. I, I learn how you can use the JavaScript, how you can interact with JavaScript, how to create a basic form, do the validation, lot of things you have to do. Okay, and later we'll uh, discuss what is how use of Bootstrap because Bootstrap is a very vast one. Using Bootstrap, we can design any kind of site. Okay, that is that that is that is the main tension of this course: HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, and finally JavaScript.